Hey guys, what's up? The fish here, back again in Vanished, where we're waiting for a bunch of constructions to get finished, especially our new quarry that we have going in. We're still recovering from the tool shortage, but we do have some tools in the stockpiles that are going to start filtering down to our workers. So I do think we have nipped this one in the bud. And we're still having old age deaths, that's never going to change. We need another teacher. Let's see, where's teachers? There we go. Three of three teachers. That should correct our current uh, maximum limit thingy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I wasn't actually planning on playing Banish today. I did it actually record a full hour of RimWorld, but for some reason Alpha 7 is really being dumb. It keeps, uh... DX Story keeps not recording it. Like, it, it, there's sections of several minutes missing from the, the videos. The videos are all split up. So I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna have to try and figure that out. It might be an issue with Alpha 7. It might just be something strange with my setup here. But nothing's changed with my setup, so I don't really know if that could be the cause. But we're playing Banished, so let's talk about Banished. So we're... we don't need that many builders anymore. We're basically finished our construction. So let's knock that all the way down to four. So that probably means our quarry is done. Almost. It's our last construction. Uh oh An orchard has developed an infestation. Uh, I think that means we need to change what we grow there. So we'll change the walnuts into plums. No, I don't like plums very much. Let's change it to apples. Apples are always good. It's unfortunate, but these things happen. Hopefully it won't spread to any of our other orchards. And we have our quarry. So let's assign... where is it? I could do it from in here, but I like doing it over here. Let's assign 15 stone cutters. That's 16. 15 stone cutters. That should be our wood taken care of for our wood. Really? You dig wood up out of the ground now? Our stone taken care of for some time. Let's set up a stockpile right near it. That'll work. Another infestation? This one? Our other walnut. Okay. So we have both of our walnut orchards have infestations. Now that's not a good thing. At all, by any stretch of the imagination. Let's put in a storage barn down here. Put it about there. And we'll put... Oh, please no more infestations. Now, which orchard? Oh no, it's spread to our apple orchard. Oh, that's our... We turned that into an apple orchard. I think we're okay. Yeah, that's the original. That's the original one. Let's cut down all the trees and replant. We need to stop this infestation before it really spreads to any of our other orchards. Because, I mean, walnuts, eh. Not a big nut person. Saying that, I really dislike plums. Uh, what else do we need down here? Some houses for our, our new workers. Which I'll put up near the the uh, storage barn. I remember what the hell it's call, called. Plenty more than that. Can we fit houses on this side? We can. Good. We'll probably still need more, but that'll do for now. 
Well, that's a great start. We had a person crushed by a rock. In our new quarry. First workplace accident. And we're at our stone limit. That's fine. We, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to leave it at 200. Actually, no, I'm not. That's up it to 500. We, ne we nearly have everybody with tools again. Which is great. We are having... A food issue. Our food is lower than it's been for a while. It worries me a little. Chickens. We don't need any chickens, so we can dismiss this guy. And another infestation. Oh no. Did it spread? Yep. Fuck. Cut that down, turn it into peaches. I guess we can change it into walnuts. This is bad, guys. We're losing a lot of our food here. Hopefully this will be the last field that gets infested. Otherwise we're in a spot of trouble. I'd like to build a, an iron mine. We don't really need one, but I'd like to build it anyway. I will actually build two. We'll build an iron mine and a coal mine. We'll find a, a spot down here we can actually put it in. Come on, sweet spot. No? There we go. There's a spot. And we'll put another one right next to it as well. So we have our two mines. One for iron, one for coal. Like so. And we'll have to put in some more houses down there, definitely. Looks like the infestations are over, at least. It's unfortunate that that happened to our orchards, because they take a little a little while to get back up to strength. If that was just a regular field, that wouldn't be such a big deal. Well, we've got another chief. We are now a settlement. I guess that's because we have, what, 300 people? Yeah. Over 300 people. We're at 193 adults, 50 children, uh, 50 students rather, and 57 children. Are our schools full again, or... No, we still have a bit of space. Good. Our church is full, though. We might want to make another church. Maybe down here, to serve all these people. Maybe another market as well. How's our cemetery doing? I still have space in the cemetery. Oh yeah, we do want to make another hospital as well, don't we? Let's build a hospital down here for definite. Uh, let's see. Hospital. Let's build that. Back here on the waterfront. Overlooking what will be a, co a cow field when we get some cows. I'm going to have to smell a manure to make somebody feel better, right? Let's put in a bunch of builders. We have a lot of constructions. We have a lot of laborers to spare, so we might as well. People are cold. They're having to go back to their houses to get some warmth in them. So here's our quarry, and it's working out okay. Oh, we have a trader. Chestnuts and pears. I don't think we have either of those, but I don't know if we can afford them either. No, you know what? Let's just not bother for now. We still got fields we haven't planted, but we do have. I believe we need to plant some plums and some beans. Uh, what are we low on? Logs. No, that's fine. Uh, we might want to build another tailor's shop, actually. Let's put down another tailor's shop. 
right here. That'll work out nicely. We'll throw another tailor as well. Preemptive. Bunch of people dying. Our food is decreasing rapidly. So I think we might want to get those extra fields set up pretty soon here. So we have corn. We have cabbages. We have wheat. Yeah, I think we need the bean fields. So let's throw down some bean fields. Food, crop field. One, two, three, four, five. And a 20 by 20, no, 15 by 15. That's the limit. I forgot. And then another one. Back here. One, two, three, four, five. This will be bean fields. Build that road. Right down the middle. So once that's done, set them up to beans, we've still got some houses coming. Nobody's even started on the mines yet. Oh yeah, we, we're we really low on food. Really, really low on food. Uh, this could be an issue. We might have to slaughter some animals here. Okay, the harvest is coming in though. So that's good. Who do we have who doesn't have a job? Taylor. Or, yeah. I'm waiting for your tailor shop. Come here. These extra fields will help. And these orchards should be back up and running before too long. I'm going to be making a lot of apples. Let's make sure our brewery is set to. Yeah, apple ale. Good since we're going to have an excess of apples. Okay, we're going to need some more farmers. It's up to 50 farmers. Let's drop our builders down. As we start to get on top of the... Uh, the... building queue. My brain isn't working at all today. Um, we're gonna need another physician pretty soon. And the hospital goes up, so we'll put one of those in. And we're low on tools again. Oh, we're out of tools. We're out of iron and stone. We're out of everything. Of course we are. Let's go find some more iron. It's quite a trek for them to go and collect, but we need it. And we'll get some stone as well while we're at it. Well, it looks like I may have already collected it all. Yeah, we're just gonna have to wait for our quarry to get it out. Oh well. At least we'll be getting some iron. Oh, trader. Sheep and chickens we don't need. Goodbye, good sir. And yep, we're starting to run out of tools again. God damn it! We need to pay more attention, uh, more attention to our iron amount here. You're digging rocks out of the ground without a tool. How's that working out for you? The good news is we didn't die, but it's late winter. We haven't even started planning yet, and we're almost out of food again. So that's an issue. We could have a, a bit of a food crisis this year. In fact, uh, you can count on it, I think. Now, we do have a lot of animals we can slaughter if we need to. So it might look bad, and it is pretty bad, but it's not as bad as it could be. 
We have a lot of food. It's just, you know, still attached to the animals. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope we don't need to uh, dip into our animal stocks. Our schools are all full again. Wow. I don't think we're going to build any more just yet, though. Let's see if we can tackle these crises. Crises? It's crises, I guess. Before we start dealing with things that don't matter that much, i.e., schools. We got a long walk out there to get that iron. Hopefully, when they get these mines set up, which will be soon, we can start digging iron right out of the ground so we don't need to go all the way over there for that. Okay, it's late spring. The harvest is coming soon. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine. That was scary, though. Yeah, those those orchards so still aren't ready. Okay, early summer we have uh, about six thousand food. Hopefully, it'll be enough to last us through the summer. But we really need to work on our food situation in the long term. Get some more fields down, some more orchards. I think we have all of our field crops down, right? Corn, potatoes. Do we have potatoes? Beans. Okay, corn, peaches, cabbages. Or cabbages, wheat. No, so I don't think we have corn down yet. No, or potatoes. So we'll definitely want to get those set up. Set up. I mean, let's do that right now, actually. So that it's ready for the next season. So let's count five again. One, two, three, four, five. I know it's not the most efficient way, leaving all these gaps, but I think it looks better. So I'm going to keep doing it. We have a trader. We want to go check out what he has in the moment here. And another one. This will be our potato fields, I guess. Come on. Let's go see the trader. Chestnut seeds. He has a bunch of food, which we might want to buy. His wheat's pretty cheap, so let's see how much money we can get out of our coats. 645. So let's get 645 wheats. It's not great, but it's a start. Give us a little bit more food into our granaries here. Harvest is coming in, so I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, okay, we'll have these as corn. I did say potatoes, but they're corn now. And I don't really care. If it's food, I want it. There we go. And we're going to need some more farmers. Up to 58 farmers. So we're definitely going to need more houses down here. But I don't want to put those down just yet. I want these mines to get set up first, so I want to reserve our stone for those. I'll put some roads in, though. Let's put... A road down here. All the way down. We'll connect it at the bottom here. There we go. We'll put a, a one going down here as well. I gotta tell if it's straight. There we go. So it can't go all the way down, but that's pretty good. And the harvest is in, and we don't have that much food. 
Oh no. We are in trouble. Let's knock our builders down to 15. I guess we'll keep 15 builders on duty at all times. It's a nice number. It should mean we get all our building stuff done pretty quick. Still waiting on that extra tailor shop. The hospital isn't done either. We just ran out of stone. That's what happened there. And that's why we're waiting on stone for the mines as well. Everything just needs stone. Now, unfortunately, I don't think there's any stone laying around that we can pick up. Well, there's some up here. Go get it. Really? One piece? Wow. Well, that's gonna get all our constructions done, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Whole bunch of stone up here. Send out the hordes to pick it up. It'll be fine. It's the food situation that's most concerning for me right now. I'm watching that little the little counter trickle down as the lifeblood of our settlement drains out of it. But we should get these extra fields planted this year. Should be nice. Hopefully that'll give us the food that we need to survive. And let's put in another couple of fields as well. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. There. Fifteen by... Fifteen. There we go. And... One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. We're out of space. see how big we can make it. So we could make it like that, 15 by 12. That'll work. Another trader. Peaches and pecans. They have nothing to trade him anyway. We'll send him on his way. We have another chief. Builder, I guess, for how many buildings we have. Which is probably a lot. It looks like a lot. People are dying. Oh yeah, we're really low on food here. So we'll put down some potatoes. Let's see if we can fit in an extra potato field here as well. Uh, round about here is the corner. This one, I guess. So one, two, three. Four, five, fifteen, five, fifteen. I'll have to put in some extra roads and stuff, but we'll do that in a little while. We're down to two thousand food. It's the summer. Oh, we can start getting our mind set up at least. So that one wants to be an iron mine. Put some miners in there. And the other one will be a coal mine. And harvest time should be coming up pretty soon here. It's going to be tight though. Hey, our tool shortage was corrected at least. I wasn't even paying attention to that, I've been so focused on the food. One thousand food approaching? One thousand food. Come on. Come on, harvest time. This is, uh, this is tense. I think we're gonna be okay. It's now late summer, we're waiting for autumn. 
We're down to 500 food. This is uh, this is gonna be tight, really tight. Our gatherers are making good work, and potentially some fields. Yeah, some fields are started in early harvest. We dodged a bullet there. Let's put a stockpile down here. I noticed that we're just piling up stuff. Let's put it in here, like this, for both of our mines. Okay, our food is increasing. We have survived for another year, but I don't know if we'll survive for the next one. Let's go check out our food graph, shall we? That has to be good to look at. Our food graph. Yeah. <laughs> Over the last few years, we've just been tanking the food. Hopefully it'll rise back up above where it was previously at the end of this harvest. But I don't have much hope for that. Let's get these fields set up, and when that's done, we'll call it a day here, I think. We are past time for this episode, so I think we I think it'll be a good time to end it. We have weathered the storm for now. And hopefully we can correct this food problem in the long term pretty soon here. Put on some extra miners. Now we'll change this over to coal. We can start making steel tools. Which last longer than iron tools. They're more expensive to make because they take they take an iron and a coal. But they're more efficient in the long term. So I'm all for changing over at least some of our production to steel tools. But we'll let we'll let our guys get a bit of a stockpile of coal going first. Trader? A trader? He has a lot of stuff, but we don't really have anything to give him. We have two hide coats. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough for anything. I guess we can get a couple of cherries, but it seems a little pointless. Send him on his way. And... Oh, we ran out of ale, because we've been eating all the apples. So once this field is complete and we get all the farmers assigned, we will call the episode here. So, potatoes... Some extra farmers, up to 70 farmers. And that's where we're going to call it for today. So, when we come back, we'll definitely have to get some more fields down because we're probably going to run out of food real quick here. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we will not lose anybody to starvation. We've only had like one starvation death so far and that was because that person was stupid. I really hate everybody to die of starvation. Uh, yeah, so join me for, for that to find out if we survive. For now, I just want to thank you all once again for joining me. As always, I've been the fish. See you next time.